my final guest, and I got a nice test uh, connector to my first guest, is Tiffany Wright, who is the executive pastry chef over at Silver Spoon Bakery. And again, if you're online and checking out my social media and seeing the pictures, you'll know that they have got some incredible pictures of the work and things that they do over there. And they've also got a unique setup, so we're going to talk to Tiffany about that when she comes in. Um, and I know that there's some more wine because I'm excited about that. Hey, how are you? Oh, hey, you brought presents. Look at this. I love presents. <laughs> there's oh, one more this. coming special Whoa. for you. Whoa. There's that. All right, I got to get some glasses over here for us. <laughs> here, we'll switch. You like red or white? I like everything. <laughs> that one's actually pressure. really good. <laughs> my you got your favorite? Oh, <laughs> look at this. We'll put that one right in the middle. Taylor, can you open this one up for us? <laughs> This one's actually just, just a popple. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so I didn't know until now that you have a connection to Becky from Celebrating. I do. She actually um, opened it with the previous owners, and she got everything going, and now she's doing her own thing. Yeah, it's and she really said that you, cool. Yeah, and she said that you guys worked great together, and she's, she was touting you. Yeah, she she's an awesome person to learn from. She really is. Yeah, and I'm very excited for the work that she's doing. So you and I were speaking earlier, and you've been at this for a while now, too. Yeah, it's eight years now. Now, um, I went to Connecticut Culinary, um, which is in Hartford, or was it actually closed down, unfortunately. But um, then I was, I worked at 1149 for three years. Oh, another I great spot. worked in Boston at Radius for a while. I worked at Mystic Market and Mystic, and then Silver Spoon Bakery. For so you've gained some great experience. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, that's, that's fantastic, though, at your age to be able to get, oh, Taylor's got an open bottle. Oh, thank you. Look at this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so. What I want to talk about is we got your background covered there, mm -hmm. but there is your setup and just the fact that you brought these in alone is different than a lot of bakery setup. So kind of paint for us a verbal visual, if you will, of what Silver Spoon is and how it's set up. And I have to throw in this thing about the salons because I'm hearing all about these. So you got to tell us about that as well. Yeah, so um, when you walk in, it's actually a house. It was built in 1790, so you really can't tell that it's a bakery until you walk in. And 1790? Then 1790. The house goes actually in like this, so <laughs> it's like you're walking through a fun house. Wow. But um, So you have two rooms to your left and your right when you go in. We have the lounge and the tea room. One's more comfier and has a couch a little bit more laid back and then we have the darker room that's more intimate and then the like bakery parts kind of hidden in the back but it's um, full of all different drinks we have dessert martinis Look our specialty right is the espresso martini and that goes with pretty much anything um, all different wines um, and then we actually have scotch if you like that and Jack Daniels. <laughs> we, I'm we sure there's a lot of people that would like that. <laughs> well, cheers to you guys. Cheers, thank, thank you. Thank you for bringing these in. This one's actually really good. I like That's it. Awesome. I love <laughs> so, in talking about this space and how it's set up, can people, so people are coming in and it's kind of more of a unique experience. They can enjoy these baked goods, sit down, and have a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. I had someone that reached out to me and said that they did date nights at your place, that they've come, they've come over at night and yeah. relaxed and chilled out. So is it that people can use those rooms if they want to host an event as well? We actually have a party room that's in the back. It's bigger, um, it's larger. We do baby showers. We actually do cupcake birthday parties too with little kids, which is always fun. Um, and then if you wanted to rent the tea room and the lounge, you can, but they're not as big as the party room. not as large a space. Yeah. Okay. And then cupcakes. So you brought up cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Let's go to what you brought here today because okay. I've got uh, like a zillion questions about all this <laughs> cupcake stuff. So tell me what you brought. So we have over 300 cupcakes. That's so. not the question. Over 300. <laughs> that was how many people asked me how many cupcakes carry. Now you know, over yeah. 300. It's right. crazy. So if you wanted a mango cupcake, we got you. So today we have triple chocolate, silver dollar, which we actually donate all the funds to St. Jude's. That's why it's the teal color. Really? And you donate yeah, all the funds to St. Yeah, Jude's? Yeah, the owners are really big on giving back. They're really great to the community. And Congratulations, they guys. They do have Awesome. kids so it's important to them and then we have peanut butter and cookie dough which is the most popular one and it has a chunk of cookie dough in it and that's my personal favorite this has cookie dough in it this bad oh, this boy one, right oh my here. god i was gonna say <laughs> look at that and then we do do like old school like the coconut macaroons which are gluten free and then french macaroons we're really big on also same thing hundreds of flavors in those guys and then a bunch of different cookies sherry i can't save the martini for you because it's going to be great so i just got your message i'm sorry Martini's going to be gone. There's so many people calling dibs on this thing already. <laughs> All right. Over 300 different cupcakes. Yes. It's crazy. Ah. So you can come in and just request a cupcake, give us a little bit of a notice, and we'll make it for you. Um, so are people creating their own style and then telling you and you're having to make it, or do you have all these that you're familiar with? 
you you could do whatever you want. If you came in and literally was like, I want a strawberry cupcake with mango frosting, we could do that for you. Like, you can design your own cupcake for your event if you want. It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> so red velvet is my big thing. Everyone out there that knows, I love red velvet. So red velvet is going to have to be the one that okay. I come in to see next year. You got to come in, and we have wines to pair with it, Not, which is perfect. See, I'm, this is like the wine and dessert. I'm like, I'm, this is my new thing. All right, so. Talking about the cupcakes, there is a club, right? Mm -hmm. we right have so a, tell us about this club. We have a cupcake, a cupcake of the month club, which you can sign up for. Come into the shop. You can get four months, six months, 12 months, and all different box sizes. Um, and then you come in every month and pick out whichever cupcake you want out of the case. Um, and the case is never the same. We always have different cupcakes. We don't know what we're going to have because the bakers kind of have a free-for-all, and we just create what we want, which is cool because there's never the same flavor. That no, but it makes it fun, too. Yeah, it, which is, it makes it a great job, that too. So, so creativity. Every, so you come in and you pick out the cupcakes. The guests yes. pick out the cupcakes. Yep. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I would. It's perfect for any type of gift. Absolutely. Christmas, birthday. Yeah, so you can give that as a gift, but also keep one for yourself. That's what I'd be doing, because <laughs> I can't give it to somebody else, then I'd enjoy myself, so <laughs> that's just me. Anyways, so we've got the salons. We talked about the type of stuff you carries. Special occasions. So we've been talking throughout the segment about this being the sweet side of life, and mm -hmm. people pretty much can make celebrations any day that they want, create new things. But you guys have got special holidays that I'm sure you get absolutely crazy for. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> so you just had Easter, so I'm sure that that was a big one. That was crazy. Um, Christmas is crazy, but summer is also crazy because there's so much foot action on Main Street. So right. that's just one giant holiday for us. So where is the location again? I don't know if we talked about the meeting when um, we described it. We are right next to the grill on Main, right across the Odium. Yep. Um, we're in the big yellow colonial house. You know perfectly where We're you hidden. are. Yeah, no, but I know exactly <laughs> where you are. I mean, and you guys also get a lot of tourist traffic over there when yes. the summer starts going on. Yeah. So going back to the special occasions, is there specific things? So if some, so Mother's Day's coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming people can come in, place these cupcake orders. Which, yeah. by the way, the cupcake thing is probably a great gift for mom because she doesn't have to bake. Mm -hmm. You can do it for her. So people can come in, place special orders with you, but also come in and shop at their will. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there specific things that you encourage people? So you were mentioning the variety of cupcakes that are out there, how they can create their own flavors. Do they actually call, come in, sit down? What are the preference of Solar Spoon for the guests? Um, all of our staff is trained, so if you have a busy life, you can actually just give us a call and kind of explain to us what you want. You can send us pictures that we're going to ask for, just if you want something more custom, color-wise, if you wanted fun and toppings, like whatever you'd like. Um, but I definitely, if you want something custom, give us a call at least 48 hours in advance and we could get it done for you. No biggie. That's not bad, 48 <laughs> no. hours in advance, that's <laughs> no. nothing. So you said that you've been doing this for years and mm -hmm. this has become a big passion of yours. So from what I heard, you're not only the executive pastry chef, you're managing yeah. the location, right? <laughs> yeah. So they've given you a lot of responsibility over there. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Not, it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> no, I have great owners so they don't put too much on me and it's, it's good. It's like a little family. So. Now that you've got this and you've got people that you're training and bringing up under you and stuff like that, and you went to school for this to be able to do it, someone that's thinking about getting into this, and every guest I've had in today is saying that it's always evolving. You're mentioning that you can do 300 cupcakes, so that's obviously yeah. an evolution of things that can be made and done out there. What advice or what would you say to people that are interested in getting in this? Would you encourage people to do it? Would you say that the sky's the limit on the things that they can learn? No, I definitely, anybody can learn to bake seriously. You just have to have the time to do it and the willingness to learn because it is a lot and it just takes time. But anybody can do it, really. Anybody can learn how to bake. And when you started, and you mentioned that you and Becky worked together mm -hmm. back a while now, do you feel that there's people coming in that are looking for that chance that you could, that are, you know, that you're looking to hire when it comes? Definitely. We have one girl, her name's Emily, and she basically worked in um, pizza shops. But she had the experience of just like cooking around ovens and then customer service on top of it. But now she's like, she frosts. You can't even tell the difference between mine and her frosting. Really? So, yeah, she's, it's great. Oh, and that's we'll a great credit to you. You got a nice compliment there. <laughs> Look at that. A shout out and a great compliment at the same time. So, I have to end with this kind of question because it's, I find it fascinating and the amount of the variety of things that you can be able to do. What are some, if not one, but some of your favorite things to bake? Um, it, it is the cupcakes. Really? It's just creating more flavors to add to the shop and it's fun. And then, I don't know, I get to put my own twist on everything, which is nice. Do you have people that are coming in and saying, okay, because you have the wines and stuff like that, mm -hmm. asking you to pair them up or asking oh, you yeah, suggestions? Oh, yeah, I do that, yeah. You do? Because I did work in restaurants, and we did have to pair things with wine and drinks, so it just, that's what I want to do. 
That's awesome. <laughs> well, congratulations <laughs> to you. you. Everyone today has been fantastic that's come in. And knowing that you and Becky had this connection, I think is great. And in talking to your owners on the phone, thank you guys for your commitment. And this giving back to charity, I think, is fantastic. So yeah. we'll make sure we make special note of that. Awesome. And your location is perfect, not just for regulars, but for, um, you know, tourists that are coming out mm -hmm. there as well. So thank you. Congratulations thank you to you. Thank you for having us. I have no, no <laughs> idea what I'm going to dive into after this. <laughs> this is awesome. Now you got to drink more of that wine and relax for a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you. All right. So right before I close out, I have to bring in one last Sorry. special guest. Come here, you. So it's spring break week. Oh, look at you. You even got the microphone on and everything, huh? Right? Yeah. So it's spring break week, and my son Giovanni, who has been in with me before last year as the summer was closing out, spent the day with me today. So I'm happy to have him here. So uh, how's spring break for you? Has been okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's been good? Yeah. Spend time with me? Yeah. Yeah. So what would you think of my segment today? Great. It was great? <laughs> Did you try anything? Yeah. What'd you try? Like I tried the cookies, uh, the cupcakes. The cookies, the cupcakes? Yeah. So you've been eating everything back there. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Delicious? Yeah. All right. So thank you for joining me. I'm Rick Simone. Thank you for checking out The Taste and uh, The Sweet Side of Life today. I'll see you next week as we start to cover with some uh, great Mexican destinations and talk about Cinco de Mayo.